Official confirmation of new BattleBots 66 competitors revealed and new ant weights coming all this week in Robot Combat. Three, two, one, Hello and welcome to This Week in Robot Combat, the new show all about robotics here, there and everywhere. We have seven stories as per usual, so let's crack on with those. Over to you, podcasty voice, Jevon. Thank me very much. Yes, we got official confirmation from Discovery and the Science Channel themselves that BattleBots will be returning this year. We'd thought it was probably the case, otherwise they wouldn't have started announcing loads of robots, but the official news broke this week. In a press release, Nancy Daniels, that's the chief brand officer at Discovery, was quoted as saying, BattleBots is such a fun series and really resonated with both Discovery and Science viewers last year. We can't wait to once again work with the amazing teams from Whale Rock and BattleBots to make the new season a smashing success. And staying with BattleBots, the supporters have had now 66 of the 67 competitors announced to them. And most people, including myself, were a little confused about this as they said that that was it. They have actually said that Chomp has dropped out, so that's 66 and more on that in a bit. But they have then remembered that there is one robot that didn't want to be announced just yet. So we look forward to seeing what that could be. Could it be that new Relentless build that Team Rapid and Pulsar were working on? Anyway, moving on to teams that have announced that they're going to be in the new series. Minotaur have announced themselves to be in the new series in this lovely bit of aluminium. Mammoth have some new t-shirts and have also announced that they are going to be in Season 4. We also have Warhawk with this lovely bit of CAD announcing that they are going to be in the new season. Looking forward to seeing them in action. Next up we have Death Roll, who are back after their one year break to go and do King of Bots or something. Yes, it was King of Bots. Now Team Nightmare are entering Breaker Box, which is a bit of a surprise to those who thought Nightmare might return this series. No, it's Breaker Box. And lastly, P1, the team that brought us Parallax last year, are bringing us this new, very shiny robot. Please remember that these are teams that have announced themselves and I'm not revealing anything that the supporters got exclusively. Please keep that in mind in the comments section below. Now, I mentioned earlier that BattleBots confirmed that Chomp would not be in the new series after announcing them previously. This is the reason. We have been working hard, or hard at work, on a new improved Chomp, but we've also been working on an organic little fighter who is showing up right before BattleBots 2019. So they regret to have to tell you that this means that Chomp has been press ganged into babysitting duties and she won't be in the new series. I'd just like to take this opportunity to congratulate the person in Team Chomp that is going to be having the new little one soon. Speaking of little ones, and wow, what a segue. Alex Shaky Shakespeare, who was on Team Nuts in Series 8, 9 and 10 of Robot Wars, as well as being the man behind Nuts and Bots, the Antweight Sales page, has made this new glitter cannon robot that doesn't follow the AWS series rules, but might compete in the Bristol Bot Builders Arena soon. Meanwhile, Team Forgotten Gods have made this wonderful little Antweight Saw robot that will be cutting lots of slots into things. And lastly, Team Panic have been doing this battle review for their Antweight This Is A Party. You can check all of these out on their own respective YouTube channels. And it's YouTube we're going to finish with today as the Sheffield Roboteer Society vs Robo Dojo has Heat B Up on the Orcs Nerd YouTube channel. Robotable Wars continues with a new heat up on the Good Robotle YouTube channel. The Robocast is back after a long old break looking at the BattleBots basement videos. And some 9132, the Robot Wars guru, has a new Planting the Seeds podcast up looking at the seeds of Series 3. There weren't any, but they've just made a load. And a new How to Build is also up on his channel looking at how to build Ice Fire's flipper mechanism, something I'll be using very soon. And that just about wraps it up for this time. What do you think of all these stories? Give your thoughts and opinions in the comments below. I love to hear from you guys and I'm sure you want to get rid of my voice, so go for it. Anyway, I shall see you next time for potentially more news. Bye-bye.